Hi there, I'm Lisa Bronner and this is my midweek mini live number two. I'm gonna be making coconut uh, sugar scrub. So I decided to do these midweek mini lives to share some little tips and uh, tricks I do around my house and my normal day to uh, make my life a little simpler, a little more beautiful. So today I'm making uh, the coconut sugar scrub. Now the coconut sugar scrub I use for two purposes. In the summertime, I use this to shave with because I shave a lot more often. My skin gets a lot drier, um, a lot ashier. And so having a uh, coconut sugar scrub does two things. The sugar is going to work as an exfoliant to slough off the dry skin and the coconut oil is gonna moisturize. Now in the winter time, I use this on my hands because they're prone to get really dry and to crack if I don't do anything about them. So in the evening after I've done my bedtime routine, one of the last things I do is I, uh, I massage this into my hands, especially the dry parts, rinse it off with warm water, and then I pat them dry. Uh, and then I let the oil sink in overnight and my hands end up being really uh, soft in the morning. So this is a super simple recipe. It's a one to two recipe, which means that I'm going to use a, a two parts sugar to one part coconut oil. Now there's so much variation you can do with a coconut sugar scrub. You can use any kind of sugar. The thicker, the coarser the sugar, the more exfoliating it's going to be. So if this is on your feet or something, you could use like a turbinado sugar. Uh, if it's on your face, you probably would want to back all the way off to like baking soda. That would be a very soft exfoliant. So as I said, a two to one ratio, I've got two parts, uh, two parts sugar to one part coconut oil. You could also use salt uh, in this. That would be a, a coarser one, That's a salt crystal, it's kind of a sharper crystal. So I'm just uh, mixing this up here. So right now, since it is still very summery here in San Diego, this is more for shaving, which means I use it in the shower. Um, and of course, the time of year is gonna depend, determine whether or not your coconut oil is liquid or solid. Mine's kind of in between. We're starting to cool down, so it's kind of solidified a little bit. So, and as you can see, it gets kind of crumbly. And this is, this is what I like. If you want it liquidier, then use less sugar. Um, and I like it kind of crumbly so that I can really hold it. And then you can add essential oils if you want to. I generally don't because the simpler, the better in my book. I uh, don't have a whole lot of time for fancy. So then just put it in a, in a jar with a lid. Now I'm putting it in this jar for its main storage. This is a glass jar. I don't know about you, but in the shower, I do not trust myself with glass, especially before my morning tea. So what I will actually take into the shower with me is a plastic container. Uh, so I've got a little one of those right here too. And it's always a good idea just to take a little bit because if you get some water in it and stuff, it could um, cause it to get a little bit funky. So you want to use it up pretty quick. So there we go. Now I can see that there's some comments in, but I'm not uh, very coordinated with reading and talking at the same time, so I'll answer those. Uh, if you have any ideas of things you'd like me to cover in my midweek mini lives, feel free to put those in the comments. Um, and then otherwise, I thank you for joining me for this little session of Going Green. Be sure to like the Going Green Facebook page if you want notifications when I am live, and I will see you the next time we go green.